Hey everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap with Close to My Heart, and we are here with our 8th Technique Tuesday. Woohoo! Before we begin today, though, we just did want to put out a little public service announcement. Yes. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing this button. It's for Operation Smile, and it says, Round Up to Change the Life of a Child. Operation Smile is a nonprofit organization that provides surgeries to repair cleft lips and palates for children around the world. Um, anytime you place an order with Close to My Heart, you can round up your order, and that total would, will be donated to Operation Smile. And for this month, October 2017, Close to My Heart will match your roundups up to $10,000. So uh, it's a wonderful charity, and it does save lives. So we just wanted to let you know about that. And it's only two hundred and two hundred and four. Sorry, it's only it only costs two hundred and forty dollars for these children to be able to get these much needed surgeries. So we would appreciate your help. Thank you. Also, we do have a stamp that's called Punny Pals as well. That is this um, year's stamp that goes towards. Operation Smile. So if you do purchase it, $7 is donated from Close to My Heart, and then we also match that $7. Yes. All right. So now that our public service announcement is out of the way, it's time for Technique Tuesday. Yay! All right. So today we are going to be doing scoring. Yes, scoring, and we're going to learn how to do a little gift card holder. Mm -hmm. So let's begin. Yeah. Uh -huh. So for today's project, we're going to start with a piece of paper that's four and three quarters by three and three quarter inches. We are going to place this piece of paper into our cutter. We, we have to do little cut marks here. So um, you're going to place it and you want to go in three eighths of an inch, which is like the one tick before a half an inch. Then what you're going to do, see this is another technique I'm teaching you. We're going to take it to your blade is going to go to three eighths of an inch and you're going to place place your blade down and then you're going to just cut up then we're going to come down to two and a half inches you're going to place your blade down and you're going to cut down now we have these two little flaps on the end, which we're going to cut off. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to snip that. And can I see where it is? Snip that. Okay. So then, then you're going to have a piece of paper that looks like this. I'll put it on the blocker. Now we're going to take our scoreboard and do some score lines on this piece of paper. This is an old scoreboard. We don't sell them anymore, but if you have one, great. Yes. If not, you can actually take out this blade and replace it with a scoring blade. They yes. do sell them as well. Okay. So, in order to make this easier, I'm going to put the flat edges up against the corners of my scoring tool. We are going to score, make our first score at two and an eighth inches. So, Here's the two, that's the one eighth. And you don't have to press very hard when you're scoring. You just wanna make a nice line and stay in your groove. Um, Our next score is going to be at four and three eighths inch. So we're just gonna score this down. And after you score, you, you see these, um, I don't know if you can see the, the, the bumps on the paper. Your normal tendency is to bend the paper this way after you score, but you actually want to bend it towards the bumps. And I did make, uh, I do have to make one more score, sorry, at three and three eighths, which is this little piece right here. Three and three eighths. And you just come and you score it down. So now you have three score lines. And what we're going to do is we are going to put our scoreboard over here and take our bone folder. This thing is handy. Yes. And then scoring makes it easier to bend the paper and then you just want to make sure your lines are creased. The reason you are folding towards the wrong edge 
is because the way that you've scored it, it has now put less pressure on the paper, so it is less likely to rip. Yes. So now we have this cute little pocket, but before we paste it together, um, you can either, I, I have a thumb punch here, which uh, is one of our older tools, and I also have an inch, an inch punch. You could, if you have a thumb punch, they're very easy. You, you can just put it on your project, whatever you wanna make a, a punch out of, and, and uh, I'm gonna center it, and then punch. And then you have this little tab here that'll be easier to lift your card out of. If you have, this is a one inch round punch, um, you can place your paper inside the punch and just go halfway and make it, it will make another indentation so you can pull out whatever object you put into your little pocket. If you did want either of those punches, we also still have a few left, so just message us. Okay, so now I'm just going to use our liquid glass and I'm just gonna put a thin coating here and a thin coating on the bottom tab. And then we're going to fold them over and fold this over and then we're going to fold the card over. And there you have it. And just to show you that it does work, your little gift card goes right in there. Perfect. And we hope you enjoyed this week's Technique Tuesday with our little gift card here. And we will see you again on Thursday where we will make this and turn it into a card. Bye. Okay, so today we're gonna start out with a piece of paper that's four and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. Um, inches. Inches. <laughs> inches. Yes, inches. <laughs> now we're going to take our scoring board and we are going to do a few scoring, um, whatever. <laughs> <laughs>